Hello everybody, this is the Game Magnet here and I am excited to show you my seven most favorite tips on how to be become better on any Call of Duty. Any Call of Duty, yes, this doesn't just go for advanced warfare, which you see me playing in these clips. Okay. And also, Share Factory is not really up. I just managed to get this video out because only only if I exit will it delete the clip. So I just stayed with this the entire time. Wasn't that hard to make. So, let's get into it. First of all, this kind of is a problem with a lot of people. I'm not saying there's a problem with you. I'm just saying that there's a lot of problems with this. Number one is keep your cool. Imagine some jackass sitting next to you screaming at every tiny mistake you make. Most of the time saying it's the game trying to console you. This jackass is you. Whenever you make a mistake, you blame it on the game. Saying that people are hacking, cheating, or just not playing fair. Your anger will only harm you, no one else. Keep it cool. Even if somebody's destroying you, camping, or even cheating. Look, I'm not even... S I'm not saying that you should turn to Buddhism because that I tell you that you shouldn't be angry. I am just to say, don't lose yo marbles. Second off is revenge. As amazing as killing that stupid ass camper that slaughtered your children, there are even more times that it can lead to something bad. If you go by, try to kill him, but he kills you instead, this causes anger and a clumsy quest to kill that son of a bitch. As I told you before, anger is a no-no. Just really leave that camper alone. Next off, number three is bots. All my friends just love to drag me into playing bots, but I know better. Don't you know when you're playing bots on easy and you just chew through them feeling like a god, but you suck at multiplayer? Why, you may ask? Well, bots do not act like humans at all. Even when playing at normal, as you practice, whether you like it or not, it makes you worse. When you get good at bots, you know how they're going to act and add it to your reflexes. But once you sign on to multiplayer, you play a match and gets absolutely destroyed. When you're put into a situation and that you would be able to handle on bots, you definitely wouldn't in multiplayer. For example, you shoot an enemy, but before he's killed, he runs into another room. If this was bots, the enemy would probably keep on running. But in real life, the enemy would grow prone next to a wall and shoot you dead. You Number online? four is kind of weird, but just stick around. It is definitely a key to many different things that not a lot of people quite understand and it is do not focus on a single thing I know I find this happening to me a lot focusing on one goal but that is the problem for example you're in kill confirmed you see an enemy run into your room your main priority is already set kill the man you know that you're definitely able to kill him. He stands no match for you. He doesn't even know that you're there. But what you do not know is that there are two guys stuffed in that room with that one guy that I saw run in. So that once you rush into that room and try to kill him, even though if those guys weren't there, you'd be able to kill him. You are completely unprepared for the other two guys. And you're killed by the other two guys before you even reach your intended target. But, however, if you weren't focusing on just killing him, you would realize that there are two guys in that room. You'd be able to kill, hopefully kill them, if your aim is good. But, anyways, you'd realize they're there. You'd have the upper advantage. You'd most likely be able to kill them and kill your inter intended target, too. So, if you would have focused on one goal, you would have gotten no kills. If you would have... You will, you would have gotten no kills in one death. But if you would have focused... If you would have not focused on one intended thing, then you would have been able to... get three kills and live. 
Friendly tram gunner overhead. This next one isn't sort of a tip, it's more of a philosophical 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 thing, okay? Enemy UAV above. A cool thing that I realize is that when enemies try to hold down an area, let's say a sniping area, in everybody's minds they believe that place is of extreme value. Your team will fight to take the area and hold it, and the other team is now trying to take it back over. Funny thing is, when you think about it, the place has no true value. It then becomes king of the hill, but everybody is throwing themselves at the hill instead of just sitting there or trying to Instead of sitting there at the at the hill trying to protect it, or if you're on, or if the other team has a hill running after it, instead you should just run around and see if you can collect all the kills while everybody else is distracted by the hill. This definitely happened happened to me a lot when I first got Call of Duty. I would always use a gun that I didn't want to use in order to unlock the camo that I do want. So, if you were want to use a gun that you like, but you also wanted to unlock a camo on another gun that you don't really want to use, like let's say a sniper that you don't really want to use, but you kind of do because you want the camo. Right? Most people would go with trying to get the camo and all that, but really the, but the main thing is you need to be able to perform well. So, you will be able to perform the best with the gun you want to use. So, once you choose that gun, you will be in your game, you'll be able to do everything you want, but once you grow out of that gun, you might want to start using the gun that you want to unlock the camo for. If you were to use the gun that you didn't want to use to get a camo, you would have sucked a nut. The left one to be exact. This right here is like the main game killer for me. I have always been a Call of Duty speed addict. I would have to be sprinting everywhere. Obviously, this would catch me in some situations that would leave me dead. If I were just to take my time and grab some cover, once in a while, I would have a huge advantage over somebody else. A lot of people don't understand how useful cover is. A good spot of cover could Leave an enemy confused, confused, not being able to see you, and making an almost impossible target to hit, leaving only a minimal amount of your body to be shot, while you can see their entire body, giving you an amazingly huge advantage. Package on standby. Smoke weed every day.